Now from looks, let's move on to roofs. Back in the day, thatch roofs were reserved for those who couldn't afford metal or clay roofs. But as new roofing methods emerged, this traditional practice was almost abandoned. Recently, it is beginning to make a comeback in homes, hotels and other public places while providing jobs for a lot of young people. Eyutokwe Kuteyi visited Igwe Titi local government area in Enugu State, Southeast Nigeria, and it brings us this report. Beautiful, natural, well arranged, and sitting pretty. Getting a sustainable roof with African design can't be better than this. This age-long method of roofing is fast making a return to various homes, hotels, and other public places in the country. This is how thatching is done. Livinius Mba has been a thatcher for a long time. He says he's been in the business for over 15 years. I started it uh, just as uh, a petty business, but it's just growing. All we lack is that we don't have enough finance. Maybe when we get a job uh, very far from our place, we hire a truck to convey the materials there. So in those things, we encounter some difficulties because we don't have enough finance maybe to buy our own truck and all that. Charles Ugu owns a bar roof with touches. He wants more youth participation in touch roof building. This is natural to us in Africa and has very good benefits. And it's a dying something, so it's good that we keep it up. So in my garden, lovely garden, I definitely want something that is so beautiful because the grass is very beautiful and it actually acts like a natural air condition. When you are in there, it's cooler than when you are under the sink. 27-year-old Uzuemena Ikweme is a young graduate of agriculture and a reed collector. He's one of those eking out living from a business by supplying the reeds. We are forced to wake up early in the morning as early as 5.30 to meet up so that we avoid the harsh sun. We walk to the mountain just like as we are here now so that we'll be able to cut as many as possible. And we do this on a daily basis. Sometimes we risk, we risk, uh, we have the risk of reptiles attacking us. That's why we wear these shoes. That's why so many other things. That are, sometimes when you, after cutting it, your body will be itching you, your hand, everything. If you, after cutting it from the mountain here, we'll take it down to the main road where we'll line it up in the mirror so that they'll be able to come and buy it. Thatch roof making has come to stay. It is only hope that government will take interest and encourage more youths to embrace the trade. Egito Pagutei for Just Nigeria. Eco-friendly, sustainable and affordable. Well done, guys.